Microtech disposable hot biopsy forceps come packaged sterile, 10 per box. The labeling includes the order number, the product size and specifications, date of manufacture, and use by date. Each set of forceps is packaged in a plastic peel pouch. Open the pouch and carefully remove the hot biopsy forceps from their packaging and uncoil. Then remove the tip protector. The forceps consist of jaws, a spring tube, a connector, and a handle. Prior to use, ensure that the device is undamaged and the jaws and spring tube have no sharp edges. Connect the active cord to the forceps handle and set up the electrosurgical unit, modality, and settings per the manufacturer's directions for use. Note that the electrical connector rotates for added convenience of use. When using the device with electrosurgery, to reduce risk of explosion, ensure there is no flammable gas in or around your patient before starting the procedure. With the jaws closed, insert the forceps into the accessory channel of the endoscope. Advance the forceps in small increments until it is an endoscopic view. Ensure that the end of the device that extends from the accessory channel is straight at all times. If the forceps hang from the accessory channel, it may cause damage to the device. Advance the forceps to the desired biopsy site or polyp. Open the jaws and proceed to advance onto the target tissue or polyp. Follow the electrosurgical unit manufacturer's instructions for settings and verify the settings. Using slight pressure on the handle, close the forceps around the tissue or polyp. Isolate the tissue by gently pulling away from the mucosal wall. Then activate the electrosurgical unit. Use caution. When applying the current, ensure the metal tip of the forceps does not come in contact with the endoscope. Contact may result in grounding, injury to the patient or the operator, damage to the endoscope, and damage to the forceps. Do not touch the wire in the handle while the electrosurgical energy is activated. Maintain gentle handle pressure to keep the jaws closed while you retract the forceps from the site. Continue to apply slight pressure on the handle and withdraw the forceps from the channel. While withdrawing the forceps from the endoscope, wipe excess secretions from the cable. Prepare specimen for examination per institutional guidelines. Upon completion of the procedure, turn the electrosurgical unit off. Disconnect the active cord from the handle, then dispose of the device per institutional guidelines for biohazardous medical waste.